This video is in response to a post on the uh, NAC forum about how you can create QR codes uh, specifically for properties, but this will translate the same in this little test app for pets. So jumping into the builder, very simple structure. We have clients and pets tables and tables for vets and breeds. So on the pet table, I've created another field at the bottom here called QR code, which is just an image field. And what I want to do is when a new pet or a new record is added to this table is to pick up the record ID and create a URL so that I can post that uh, on social media and people can scan it and it will take you to the page. So if I just show you the records view here, if I scoot across to the side, you can here see a, a QR code. And this QR code says it is embedded with the URL for that page. So if I go into my pages, as you can see, every page on here is sitting behind a login. Um, the only one isn't is this page here with a little doggy icon, which is the pets. So this is a uh, list view of all the pets. So I've just got a pet's name, and then this is a uh, linked photograph to a details page. So if I go into the app, this is my public facing page called pets and pet's name and then this is a link to a details page so this is where i want to push people to through the uh, through the qr code and what we need to do is effectively give them this url so i'm going to just copy that uh, put it into notepad make things a bit easier so this is obviously my account and this is the app classic clips and then this is uh, the pets customer view and then the view pet details page, which is what we're on now. So as you can see here, we're on view pet details. And this number here is the record ID, which NAC doesn't natively expose. Um, so this is the actual URL we need to create. Now, currently, I think um, the gentleman is using a manual process. Uh, after a, a light bit of Googling, I found a free QR code generator. And if I just paste that URL in, it creates here my um, QR code, which I can then save and do whatever I wish to put on social media. And when people scan that QR code, it would take them to the, this page and specifically this record. So if you haven't seen my getting started with Integromat video, uh, you can uh, click on the link below and have a look at that first. Once you set up your account, we'll jump into the dashboard and go into scenarios and I'm just going to sit in a work folder so if we have a blank screen here. First thing I'm going to do is create a new scenario and it will fire when a record is added to my app. So I click on the plus and type NAC to get to the module. And from here, um, we want to click on new event instant. So what we need to do now is set up a webhook connection to our app. So uh, I don't have any here, so I'm just going to add one here and I'm going to call it um, Classic Clips. So that's created our connection. So we should now have a list of our objects. And I want to pick up when a pet is added to NAC. And that will be a record created. And then save. So that's that module done. So once the record is created, this will fire and pick up the record details. So I'm just going to right click and rename this, call it pet added so I know what it's doing. And I'm just going to set this to run once so it's sitting here waiting and I'm just going to add a record and just add a pet from here. And I just want to submit and make sure that that event fires, which it did. So it brings me back here the record ID. The next module I'm going to add is also a NAC module and it's going to be get a record. And that's going to use the same connection and looking in the same object. And it's going to look up the record ID from the previous module. And that will simply return the whole record rather than just the ID. I only actually need the ID in this particular case, but it's a good habit to um, pull this back to make sure you're getting the correct record. So I'm just going to rename this. Um, get record so I'm just going to run this scenario once and add another pet so just come back into here 
and that's run. So we've got a packet through there and we've got a record in here. So it shows me that uh, the record ID, which is what I need to create my barcode, but it's also showing me the Orcato increment and the rest of the information in this record. So the name of the dog and uh, everything to do with that particular record. If I go into the NAC table, I will be able to see that record number 49. So if we go into pets, it'll be at the top of my table here. So that's the correct records pulling through. Okay, so I can stay in uh, Integromat for a while now. So we've got that scenario working where we're actually getting the record passing through to Integromat. So now I need to uh, create a text string. So I'm going to actually click away from that, come down the bottom here and just click on the tools icon and compose a string and connect that. And I need to pick up the page. So if I go to this is the customer facing page. And if I go into one of these pets, this is the page I want to push people to. So it's this URL at the top, which we have copied before, but I'm just going to paste in here. And up until the backslash, that is the page URL. And after the backslash, that's the unique record ID for this specific page or specific pet. So I'm going to copy that. Um, move my scenario back over here and I'm going to say that the text string is that URL plus it is the record ID so that concatenates that into one string so now I in this module I actually have composed the URL and I need to now add a module for the QR code so you can type barcodes or QR and it will find it generate a code barcode and there's different types. It defaults to QR code here, but there's different types of barcodes you can create. And the barcode uh, is going to be uh, using the composer string module, which we composed in the previous um, tools module. So that's going to put the URL just like we did on the website. Um, I'm then going to just, um, instead of it being called barcode.png, I'm just going to look for the uh, pet name so that the file will be called petname.png and say OK to that. Now I need to go back into NAC and upload a file and it'll ask me where it's coming from. It's intelligent enough to know it's coming from the barcode module and it's asking if it's an image, which it is. And then the last step will be for me to add another NAC uh, module and update a record. And I'm updating the original record. So uh, same connection looking in the pets table and the record ID is the record ID that came from the first module the actual get a record module this record ID so I want to update the record that was uh, created so I need to reference that record ID and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom here and then in the QR code it says that you need to use the upload file module first which we have and then use the ID from it so this is the upload file and we use the file ID and save that. Um, I'm also at the end just going to put a break on here as well. So when this is being used ongoing, um, it will store any errors. So I'm just gonna set this up for three attempts a minute apart and then click on this and allow it to store incomplete scenarios. So if any of these modules error, um, when it's actually switched on and running all the time, it will retry multiple times. So that's the scenario finished. Um, I'm just going to come to the top here and save it. So we're going to say QR code. Um, so that's done and click on save. And I'm going to run this once. So it's sitting there waiting. Go back to NAC and back into my clients. And I'm going to do a complete record this time. So I'm going to add a pet fill everything in okay so I've added my pets details here and just prefix this with this is a new record so I'm going to submit that and that will fire the scenario here that's run all the way through if I look at the end result here we've got an output bundle so if I go back into NAC and into my pets table the top record was just submitted, and if I scroll to the end, I can see my QR code here. So if I go into my live app, I've already set this up. If I go back into Clients, Bob Slater, and it's the top record here is Trevor. 
and you can see I've put the QR code into here, but this page sits behind the login. It's the pets page here, which is public facing. And if I scroll down, we can see Trevor's here. And this image is a clickable link to the details page. So this is the URL that we've created in that uh, scenario. And if I go back a page, you can see the QR code here. So if you scan this with a QR reader, uh, it would take you to this page. Just going back to the scenario, the first module obviously ran when you added the pet and the second module got the record ID. So in the first I, the first module, all it gets is the record ID, which is really all we wanted in this particular scenario. But using the get record ID looks up that um, looks up that record ID here and then pulls through the record, rest of the record information, things like when it was added and the client and all that good stuff. The next module was the composer string and the output that's composed um, by concatenating the page URL with the record ID is this. And if I copied that straight into a fresh browser, and just paste that in. takes me straight to Trevor's page, um, which will be exactly the same as if I go back to the scenario, the next module in the barcode, it's using the output of that string module to create the barcode. And then the last two are uploading it and then saving it back to NAC. So it's finally just worth mentioning, if I go back to the page, uh, you can obviously copy this. This QR code is just an image, so you can copy or save um, and use it on other lo other locations such as social media and that's still a scannable QR code so that could sit on a website or uh, a piece of paper or a handout or whatever you wish and that would link uh, users straight to uh, the to Trevor's uh, record as shown before uh, so I hope that was of interest then and of use and um, uh, although it looks fairly complex it actually logically is fairly straightforward and removes the complete uh, requirement for a manual intervention. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.